A virtual hermit crab is trying to break out of an aquarium as a new class challenges students to think outside the box. The computer science department at Rutgers Camden has added its first course on game design. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. As spring term draws to a close, Sunita Ramaswamy's students are showing each other their rough prototypes of computer games, ready or not. She developed the course, offered only to computer science majors, in response to popular demand. But because she designed it to jolt them out of their comfort zone of algorithms and programming, the students got even more than they'd asked for. It was use, using some of that technical knowledge, but really with the goal of creating something that was interactive entertainment. College in general, and Rutgers in particular, has helped me branch out and widen myself as a person, including, you know, offering me new challenges, things like storytelling and um, graphics design, which I hadn't done as much of. Matt Atkins dreamed up a captive hermit crab whose adventure begins almost naturally. It deserts its shell for a series of bigger and bigger objects lying around the aquarium. As the player advances, though, the crab can smash the tank, leave the house, and head for the beach. It plays on the absurd pretty heavily by the... Ultimately, the, the hermit crab is going to be like the size of a small car, dragging, you know, wearing a, wearing a garbage dumpster can as a shell. Kevin Corcoran's hero is an average guy who has to save Plainville from the dictator next door. Corcoran himself already has a job developing software for Lockheed Martin. For me, it's a good escape from the, the uh, standard programming and standard computer science stuff that we do. Uh, it opens the doors for a lot of people if they're interested in doing things with games and, and graphics of that sort of nature. Employment opportunities for uh, students that have some familiarity with designing computer games are very good. But I think the way that it's useful is that it also forces them to think about issues related to computer a graphics and the visual aspects of, of computers. You know, they use software that, that's visually based all the time. But, uh, you know, if, you don't, if you're not actually forced to think about the design behind the software, uh, you don't necessarily appreciate the, the, the kinds of uh, questions that you need to pay attention to when you're designing software with the visual uh, aspects. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Camden.